is that thing going? I can't really, it looks like it is. Uh, anyways, so here I am, OCD Hi-Fi Guy. Uh, I thought I wanted to do one of these things I've seen called an unboxing. I never knew people got this into packaging, but I guess uh, unboxing something is like a heavy deal. So let's unbox something. And truly, I must say that I do get excited for opening this package. And this is probably going to be the most nerdly unboxing you've ever seen in your whole life. Because it's for audio component parts. A capacitor. This is a capacitor, a condenser. Uh, it is a roll of foil with a dielectric inside and wires that come out of it. It's one of the little parts that goes inside your electronics. And because uh, I'm OCD hi-fi about the way I listen to music, any of us audiophiles have our own preferred parts. This means that we have created and we buy and we use very well-made, much care taken into making components such as I'm about to show you. They're just the little parts that go inside, but we get so excited about them and we talk about them and we compare them. You know, how, how, how nerdly is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so... Without further ado, let's commence the unpa unpacking, the unboxing. Okay, so let me bring the, the camera close for the, for the in-close shot. All right, here we go. I don't know why I'm becoming British now. Uh, here we go, okay. Because I just watched TV, I watched a show that was really funny and they were, and it was, they were all British. Okay, so, uh, okay, so here we go. Okay, it came inside a FedEx bag, and then they had, he had these inside of there, so he was, he was being handy, you know, about how he protected the component, the component parts. Okay, so here it is. Look at that. It's beautiful brown craft paper that's crumpled up. Somebody took much care. Your father had this watch up his ass. Three years in Vietnam. Okay, so here it is. Uh, look at that. Craft paper. Beautiful craft paper crumpled. That is a nice crumple job. Look at that. Look at the handiwork. Look at the beauty in that. It's like a little kipper snack or something. Look at this one. A smaller kipper snack. Let's see. Oh, I need my handy dandy. It's not in my pocket. Normally I have a pocket knife. Uh, hang on. Next best thing. Kitchen knife. <sighs> I paid for them. I can use them for packages. Okay, so look. It's even inscribed. What does it say? I shall take my glasses off to see. 0 0.01 UF. So can you see that? 0 0.01 UF, 600 volt. Do you look, at, look at how nice that, that writing is. 20 gauge AWG silver leads. That means the wires that come out the thing are silver. Two pieces. It's folded, it's taped on the end so it doesn't fall out. Isn't that creative? Let's go in here and let's see. Let us open our little kipper snack of goodness. Uh, I want to be careful doing that. Don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, now, well, gotta get this one too, like that, like that. Are you ready? <gasps> What's it gonna reveal? Wow. Oh! These are some of my favorite capacitors. These are film and foil capacitors. These are Jupiter bees. These are not the beeswax, but these are copper foil and paper and wax. So they are wax, but they're, I don't, I think they're paraffin, I guess. Uh, 0 0.01. And look at the care and the detail. 
taken and look how little they are they're teeny little guys you know why because you can take this and bypass a electrolytic which are those can type things those sound like crap okay these sound majestic so you just take these and you put them on the, the two ends where you know I don't suggest you do this unless you know what you're doing but you solder them on and then this will the high frequencies will bypass through here and the high frequencies will become sweeter and more delicate and more beautiful so you just add this you can add this instead of changing the capacitors over or trying this is part of tuning okay when I tune things or when anybody tunes things and they do modifications this is one of the tricks up the sleeve is a bypass cap Jupiters are the bomb, okay? They, you can find them at Jupiter Condenser, I believe is the name of the website, Jupiter Condenser. Uh, and you'll see they have many different types. They are all very high quality, and they are among my favorite. Now let's see what this one says, 0.33 UF. This is a common 600 volt. That means it's for using in power supplies, it's for using in high voltage areas. If they're lower voltage, that's usually used for speaker crossovers and so forth. 18 gauge silver leads, two pieces. Again, silver leads. Let's open our larger Kipper snack and see what we've got in here. Ooh, look at those beauties. Wow, 0.33 microfarad. That's what that's called. UF, other word. You see UF, that means microfarad. Jupiter, look at that beautiful label. You can see that, huh? Yeah, that's pretty. So these, man, you put these inside. You know what I got these for? That uh, canary amp that's in there. We're going to take out the music caps. We're going to put these in and watch what happen. It's going to get so much better. So much better. Okay, and here we've got another one, 0.33 UF, 600 volt. I think these are about, these are the same. I think, I believe, I do believe. I do believe. Let's open these up. I'll crack these open. And whoa! Yep, two more. Two more of these beautiful capacitors. These are gorgeous. Look at the paper. It's paper, it's got a nice pretty shiny label on it with nice cursive writing copper foil paper and wax it's telling you look i'm bad to the bone i'm made in the usa for real this is the real deal you know what i'm saying yeah you do okay so we got those now i've got another box and this one i can feel them toying there's something called a toying which means when you hit it and it goes boing and you feel it in your in your hand, you can't hear it. You probably could on a very small level, uh, but it feels like a spring or something. So that probably means that these are in some sort of a dielectric that is bouncy. Okay, so look, here we go. Open this one, the unboxing we've got going here. Okay, ooh, a big old one UF, daddy. 100 volts, so see what I'm talking about? This is like used in a different part of the circuit than a 0 .33 600 volt would be. That's telling us what part of the circuit it would be used in. We, kind of, we can, we have a good indicator from that. Don't want to do it that way, Mikey. Do it this way. Okay, I learned that when I was a kid. I, was, I had a hot dog bun, check this out, and I had a big serrated bread knife and I was freaking cutting the hot dog bun like this, like a total dumbass. And I went burnt and it went, and it went right through here, right through these two fingers. And just, I was just like, ah, and then I felt like such a dumbass. It was like first shock and then pain and then humiliation of being a dumb dumb. Well, let's just say I never did that again. Okay, so here we go with the next one. Ooh, look at the beautiful red label. It's actually, it's an orange. That is like a, that is a beautiful shade of orange. It's a deep orange. I might call it a, hmm, not burnt sienna. I would say it's perhaps a deep tangerine. Uh, perhaps a, uh, hmm, oh boy, what would, 
Yeah, because tangerine, it may, I think deep tangerine, blood orange. There we go, blood orange. That's what that is right there. One UF, 100 volts. So we're using this in a different area. But look at how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Jupiter type VT. This is the beeswax and paper. Okay. This is going to impart a mellow tone. A nice, beautiful, mellow tone. This, my friend, is going to give you a little more tooth in there. A little more bite. A little more clarity. A little more oomph. And I don't know why. Because it's not beeswax. So, you know, there you have it. And I think these, these other ones here, I went ahead and I took the liberty to splurge a little bit. And I went ahead and I think I bought three other 1UF Type VT beeswax Jupiter caps. Gorgeous. Now look at the array that I'm lining up out there. Can you see that? Isn't that a beautiful array? I should get them all turned so the, so the labels are all up in the same spot and we can just be amazed at them together. This is hard to take, isn't it? I know some people are just gritting their teeth right now. <laughs> but you know what? I'm having fun. These are my capacitors and I've got them all lined up. Okay, so one more. We got one and we got... Two more, and oops, I forgot to move. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, here we go. Okay, so one more un unveiling, unboxing, unpackaging of the capacitor, and then one more unveiling, unboxing, unwrapping, unraveling, unsheathing of the Type VT beeswax capacitor. So. Now that we've got them all together, let's give them a hug. Let's, let's, let's hug them. Yes, okay. I love them, and I give them my energy now from, from, from here, my third eye. I'm going to get it down there and get it on there. And uh, now they're energized, and they're ready for action. We're going to put them into something. I can't remember what we're going to put them in. Oh, yeah, the, um, care, the, uh, the, I wanted to say carry, didn't I? Um, canary, the canary. But canary was 0.3. Yeah, these, yeah, that's right, these four. These four are going canary style. These are, um, I just bought them to have them because sometimes I like to just look at them. So I just pull them out and I'll look at them until I figure out what I'm going to use them on. And then I got a couple for bypass just in case they're needed. So anyways, I wanted to take you on a very special trip for my first unboxing, which I will coin as the most nerdly unboxing yet seen, uh, which is, I don't know, there's probably some nerdly unboxings out there, but I thought I'd partake in the festivities and the old tradition of unboxing. So there you have it. I will see you. Bye-bye.